Now, after all the spring classics, we start with the golden era of stage racing, with Right London, with the Women's Tour, with the Giro, and of course the Tour de France Femme at the end of July. And stage racing is so much different than a one-day race. So in a stage race, there'll be uh, each day the opportunity to win that race, but then uh, the cumulative um, time over all the days um, is how you win the GC, the general classification. But stage racing is tough because like, I'm a domestic. My teammates trust that I'm going to be able to help them if my job is to take them into that, that critical sector so that they can have the best chance of winning. You know, you're doing a lot of work on the front so that they can conserve as much as possible. You look at the results and, you know, I'm 10 minutes down and the next day I'm 20 minutes down and like it, but my job isn't to win. My job is to help my teammates get to, to the finish line as fresh as possible. Right, London is such a unique race. This year, for the first time, it's three days. But before this, we had a one-day race in the middle of one of the biggest cities in the world. And the final, the third stage, will be in the city centre of London, where the roads are closed, where there's a big bike festival, and where everybody can watch bike racing from the first row. It's such a great tourist lap, and I feel like it's such a, a neat thing to have the roads closed for us. So. Uh, before the race starts, you get to do a recon lap, and then you get a look over and you see, you know, Big Ben or the Mall or Buckingham Palace. I think it'll definitely be a lot easier to race when there's no cars there. The roads are really wide, and I think it'll be super nice if there's loads of people out watching and obviously getting to see the sights in the race and not just as a tourist will be really cool. I think it's really important that we have races like this for the young girls. When I raced, you know, Tour of Yorkshire, I saw the primary school kids right on the side of the road cheering us on, and I think it'll be really important for young girls to see that actually, you know, they can become athletes, and you know, our races are on TV now, and they can make a job out of it. And I think it's really important for these races to come to the UK more than just a couple times a year so we can continue to inspire the next generation. It's nice to have like a big buzz on a sunny day and hopefully the weather will be nice when we race and you know there'll be people out to watch and we'll give a good show for them. Today we arrived in the hotel for, uh, for Itzulia, a three-day uh, stage race in the, in the Basque country. Early. Yeah, for me it's the first time, so I don't know exactly what to expect, but yeah, it will be brutal because it has a lot of, lot of uh, altitude meters and the uh, last day we will uh, finish in uh, San Sebastian. Well, a general classification leader is the person that's accumulated the least amount of time over the stages and they tend to wear a jersey to kind of show that they're the leader in the bunch. Yeah, in the stage race, yeah, six riders and then we'll have two mechanics, two swannies, we need a bus driver, a bus driver also steps in as a swanny and yeah, a director. Yesterday, I think that we spoke already. I think they didn't go as we expect, but okay. I mean, we talk already, we know what happened and I think uh, today is another day. Uh, yesterday, they didn't, the, the little team, they didn't go in the first time, right? Uh, they did the after, uh, just one. So it's hard to stay up with the mindset when all this shit happen. It's really hard, but we, we, need, we need to try. Huh? 
Gaurko bigarren etapari maiabia maiabia eunda amaz Hasiera emateko gaurko lasterketa Gasko zizendaria eta igorre harri eta maiabiako alkatea One role that I wouldn't want to want to do would be a Spanier because they work so hard. Uh, so a week-long stage race is really tiring for them. Like they're constantly, you know, they're when you think of Spaniers, you just think of them giving bottles and massages. But actually, there's so much more to it than that. Like they're filling the bottles, they're driving the cars, they're giving massages, they're looking after the riders. Like it's it's a really hard job. So I really do feel for our staff during week-long races. Oh, Mayotoria, laboral cucha, líder de la clase. Clasificación general con la presencia de Tom Grandes ha sido cuarta en la pared de ha sido sexta, atención, en la estrella blanca. Ha sido el campeón en la final de Suiza, ha concluido décima en el grito. Ha sido cuarta en la pared de ha sido... ¿Qué es tan importante para tener un masaje? Creo que para mí es la cosa más importante para recuperar más rápido con mis legs, pero también para relajar un poco. En entre las etapas, hablar con G sobre esta etapa y sobre los próximos días. Um, but especially just to make sure your muscles are a bit more relaxed again. Is she doing a good job? G? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's doing a good job. I have three riders left and we was able to have a mind set up and still be up with the mind to make the main things in the race. So yeah, we are suffering, we are short in the things, but still fighting enough when I say to you girls, don't give up and try always because still, we are there and we show it up. There are still teams with six girls that are not even able to understand how to make the race. So I, I'm, I'm really proud of what, what we are showing up. And I'm proud that we don't give up, even if we are left in drink and all the trouble that we have around. In stage races this year, I kind of hope to pick up where I left off last year. You know, I was unfortunate and I kind of finished my season earlier than I wanted to and I was just getting back into the swing of things. So I really want to be there at the pointy end, helping the girls out during the end. You know, I hope to have my chance if, if my legs are there, but I really want to be finishing in the front, doing the lead outs, like having that important team role and just being there and being myself again in the peloton. need to be good at everything to be able to win. Down is the first sub-23 of the Lucy Voltura. We have the finish of the team of Trece Gafredo. She also passed away from here. Let's go. 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 I gotta get the scissors out. Oh shit, yeah, it's growing. Ooh. 
we get this in, then I'm gonna win Ride London. <laughs> is that not amazing? Yeah, <laughs> oh, my work here is done. In a capital city like London, you're actually riding through history from the Mall to Buckingham Palace. It's such a thrilling environment to do a bike race. For Ride London, I'm a domestic, I'm, uh, my teammates trust that I'm going to be able to help them. To win a GC, I think you need to be really smart. You need to be aware of so many things, you know, who's not just immediately behind you, but, you know, 15 seconds, 20 seconds behind you. Yeah, right then we'll have Raquel Barbieri, who has been, yeah, had a lot of podiums. I, I have to work hard, like every race I have to work hard. It's really fun to have a rider that you just have so much confidence in. If my job is to take them into that, that critical sector and then so that they can have the best chance of winning. Of course you'd want to win a stage. Whether you get a jersey or not doesn't necessarily define your week, but obviously it can make, it can make a big difference. For the riders, it must be absolutely amazing to be riding in the city of London, a place where you normally book a city trip. You now, now can actually ride your bike through town. The last stage I'm sure will come down to a sprint and it would be incredible to lead Elisa out to, to win the sprint and yeah hopefully we have enough girls there to be able to do her justice. That must be a wonderful experience to uh, just look and sprint or ride and have your face towards a fantastic place like Buckingham Palace.